something that's very important with pure data is the workflow and how to quickly do certain tasks because you'll be doing those tasks over and over again and keyboard shortcuts are key so it's just to point out that any of these different menus that I look at for instance the put menu if I want to put an object onto the patch I can see there that I can just go to the put menu choose the object but all of these symbols here are telling me what the shortcut keys are, what the keyboard shortcuts are for me to do that. So I can see the symbol here is Command and 1. So to, instead of going to the Put menu every time I want to put in a new object, if I just go to my Mac keyboard and go Command and 1, or Control and 1, I think it is on a PC, I can just get an object and drop it where I want and put in whatever type of object I need. To put in a number box is just command and three. Again, you'll see that on the put menu. And all of the other different uh, options on the put menu are there, along with all the different shortcuts. So they're well worth learning because you use them so often. Uh, the other key shortcut is to put it into run mode or edit mode. And we can see there that the keyboard shortcut for that is command and E. So I can see here, by just going Command and E, my cursor should change to the Edit Mode icon and back again to the Run Mode icon. So that's Command and E. And lastly, as we discussed before, just the uh, turning on and off the sound for pure data. So I can see here in the console in the background I can see that compute audio checkbox is now off but just to turn it on I go command and forward slash and to turn it off is command and full stop and that's just a brief overview of some of the key keyboard shortcuts in pure data